Hello, hello, and welcome back to As Dusk Falls. So in the last episode, I chose not to look at the story tree, but I noticed going back to it now, the choice that I looked at that said community choice, I interpreted that as the choice that you would have made like if you were doing co-op. I completely forgot that these games also show you kind of like the global choice for all the people who are playing the game. And I am actually interested in seeing that. So I decided to show you guys as I go through it. 50% chose to hold a gun. 91% tricked Holt uh, to reaching the office, right? We're together to get free. I'm really curious because I don't want to look at all of these. I'm curious to see how many people sent Michelle out. Only 28%. Interesting. And only 22% forgave her. Wow. So most people were like, nah, let's send out the kid. And then for the people who sent out the wife, they were like, fuck her if she's cheating on us. Interesting. Also, let's see. Vince, Jim, and Zoe remain. So I guess there's clearly going to be a choice where everybody would probably still be alive. So only 27% of people have this choice that I have right now. Um, or rather this status that I have right now where these are the only people left going into this chapter. Interesting, but speaking of going into the chapter, let's do that. Everybody likes a little meat with the supper. Everybody likes a little garlic undercover. This chapter contains graphic images of character suicide that some players may find distressing. Players are advised to use their discretion when declining whether to play. You also have the option to skip the scene entirely, with the positive outcome being pre-decided. No, 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 no. I would like to play the scene. When I play games, I want to play the full game, you know? But that's for your benefit. Now you guys know. May 30th, right. 1998, Desert Dream right. Motel. Hmm. What a surprise, Sheriff doesn't look remorseful at all. Title screen. Tyler, what did you do? He's gone. He's just... gone. I know, but you... Shut up. Just take her body in the back. <laughs> Look, my kid is just like, I'm completely I'm numb already. Alone, I'm not tired. She saw everything, you know. Dale, what they did to Joyce. Believe me, I know. God, what am I going to tell Ash? Poor kid. find my book yet no you <sighs> i already looked buddy listen your wife's out of surgery she's okay you about to threaten my wife but i need that book hey. now you were out there. You knew what was going to happen, didn't you? I didn't know. No, of course not. He was my baby brother. I was there the day he was born. At least he went out fighting. Joyce, you executed her. You want the awful truth? Life is war. People die. And it's not up to them when it happens. So why are you so upset about it? Hmm? Also, how did he not see that the pager was just on the ground? Don't you point that thing at me. Hmm? Ma'am, this is a live operation. Who's this? Uh, Sheriff... Uh... Should I arrest her? Sharon? Sharon, you, you can't just... What the hell do you think you're doing? It's Ma. Huh. Interesting. 
Dante, please. My boys are in there. And they wouldn't have robbed my house without you knowing about it. Besides, it's been <laughs> kind of a messy night. Yeah, only two of your boys are in there. If you want them out, you let me in. Dispatch, stand by. We have a situation developing. Excuse me, deputy. Uh, sheriff? Sharon, better not make me regret this. <sighs> I don't think she wants to. Open up before he changes his mind already, will ya? Hmm. What? Yeah. What is going on with Dad? Ma, why are you here? Hey, Mama. Hi, sweetheart. Where's Dale? Ooh. We have news for you. Oh God, no. Ma, I'm sorry. You were supposed to look after him. Mm. Well, at least she hugged him. I didn't know if she was going to be like the hard ass, like matriarch of the family who's like, you never did anything right. Sharon, I'm, I'm so sorry. How did it happen? Romero drew us out to talk about a helicopter. And he had a sniper. What, he just lured him out there like, like an animal? Got something to say? No. Go on. You think my deal had it coming, don't you? Like, I, I don't care about what you think, to be honest. No one deserves to die. Not like that. That's What's not true. Name? Vince. He's a family man. In trouble from the beginning. Grabbing our guns. And he was out there when Dale took the bullet. Says he didn't know, but... Family man, huh? I get that. You probably think my boys are monsters. But we have lost so much. Uh -huh. And now Dale... I am not losing anyone else. So you help me take care of my family, I'll help you take care of yours. Deal? I mean, depends on what you want me to do. Oh, I'm not gonna warn her. Not gonna warn her about that. Deal. Good. Tyler, we should talk in private. That idiot Dante thinks I'm helping him. Jay, sweetie, don't you worry. We'll get you out of here. I mean, you know, the terms of our agreement were a little vague. She didn't say anything about revealing every secret I have. Jim? Are you okay? No. Oh, it's nothing. I'll be fine. That is, if you don't get us killed. What is going on with him? Why is he hiding himself? Tell me about that pager. It's from the sheriff. Vince, that's very, very dangerous. If you get caught, or he asks you to put yourself at risk. Yeah, I'm winging it. Because I don't know if the sheriff is actually the lesser of two evils, but he is the less immediate threat right now. And I certainly don't trust him. So I'm, I'm winging it. I'm winging it, Dad. Leave me alone. I'm pretty much totally making this up as I go. I thought he said I'm so premenstrual. <laughs> Why'd you let me talk you into Route 66? We could have gone through Utah. Nothing but Mormons and salt flats. Mm, Daddy. Salt. Hey, pumpkin. Try to sleep. Daddy, you look scared. Do I? That's not how I feel. How do you feel? The opposite, actually. I feel safe because I'm with you. Okay. Then I'll keep protecting you. Aw, thanks, sweetie. <sighs> You're my favorite daughter I've never had. Dante, it's Sharon. Oh, for crying out loud, just listen. Forget the helicopter. What we want is a school bus. Big enough for us and the hostages. They're coming too? We're safer that way. Well, I know I said that. Is it my fault you're gullible? Stop, 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 stop. Look, <laughs> yeah, me, 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 me. this goes until morning. You'll have the state police here. Maybe the FBI. And we both know that having them 
on your turf is the last thing you... <sighs> I can live with that. Call me when it's ready. Why are you looking so hard at his bird book? What do you want? Um, I need to use the bathroom. Figured you'd want to stand guard or something. You first. Weird. So, uh, Jay, what's that stand for anyway? John? Jeremy? Uh, it could just be Jay. Like, Nothing. that's a name. It's, just my name. <laughs> it's not like they called him R. I'll stay here. That book you have. Huh? Can I see it? I get it. He's thinking that the black book this. is actually in there. Why? Not nah, casual. I just really love birds, especially, you know, the uh, tropical ones, like the humming dragon. There's no such thing as a humming dragon. Yeah, here, I'll show you. Huh. Some kind of hiding place. Where'd you get this? It belonged to the sheriff. I, I thought there was something in it. Could you have dropped it somewhere? I don't know. Maybe in the truck. I need to tell Tyler. No, wait. Don't do that. Uh, Why not? Hmm. Uh, yeah, let's... I mean, I don't like to manipulate somebody who's already being manipulated by his brother, you know, and his family and wanting to kind of live up to their standards, but I'm going to do it. This is about me now. Because he's going to say it's your fault. Self-preservation nation? You saw how pissed the sheriff is. What if it's all about this book? It's not my fault. Tyler and Ma are the ones who planned all this. Look, let's just keep this between us. We'll go to the truck, find what was inside, and no one has to know. Please. If I take you out there and you try anything, I won't. I swear. We'll go to the truck and come straight back. I won't try nothing. <sighs> Fine. Not even first base. Thank you. You're doing the right thing, Jay. For your family, too. <sighs> Do, 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 do. One week earlier in Two Rock County. Oh, I don't get to see Tyler with his shirt off. <laughs> Why am I being such a horn dog in this playthrough? I promised Ma we'd fix this roof, but it won't last another storm. Here. Make yourself useful. Mm. Isn't that what he's always trying to do as the baby of the family? Make himself useful in your eyes? Need you to cut me some new ones. Think you can handle that? Sure. I've done it before. Mm. Pine. Easy enough to saw. Easy enough to fuck up. So don't. I'll do my best. I know how to cut wood. You just, you know, swirl and swipe. <laughs> See? And then you just mash the saw into the wood. Just mash it and it'll uh, cut nice and clean. Timber you got there. Uh, well, pine's a soft wood, isn't it? Ain't hardwood. So you saying you got soft wood? Yeah, I think. <laughs> that, Tyler. He can't get it up. <laughs> oh my God! And the dicks, dicks and penises. Well, right that one. <laughs> oh, look at his face. I almost forgot. I got something for you. Yeah? Oh, <laughs> should have known better. I fucking taught him that. 
Professor Dale over here. Somebody get him some tenure. Hey. Wanna get high? Nah, still got some shit to unload. Uh, no. I don't want whatever you just gave me. I don't think so. Sure? <laughs> yeah, of course you huff. Of course you huff, Dale. Don't let go. Don't let go. <laughs> Look at his face. He's like, no. It's so sweet when you inhale vapors and then almost fall off the roof and die. Who this? Well, looky, looky. I hope I ain't disturbing your fun. Pa. What? Oh, that's her dad. For your old man. Oh fuck. Party's over. Hey boys. Party's over. Tell the rest I of the crew. Finish the roof then. Seeing as you giggle it like a bunch of girls. See for yourself. It's coming along just fine. What? That's your work. No, it was me. Well, you ain't the sharpest tool in the shed, but you're better than your brothers. Faster, too, I'd wager. Would have finished it sooner if you bothered helping us. I had business in town. Oh, it's and that actor. This time. I don't remember his name, but I know his face. On, Jay. You ain't too old for a whooping, Tyler. Hey, fuck off and leave him alone. Yeah, it's three against one. Do yourself a favor, son, and step aside. When my pappy used to take off his wristwatch, it was because it was time for a beating I wouldn't forget. Hold this. Aha! Uh -huh. I let it fall. Oh, shit. All right, you want to be an abusive son of a bitch? Let's go. Stupid. Let's go, Pa. Tyler, fuck him up. Oh, no. No, Tyler's pretty face. Don't. No. Tyler, swing. What in God's name are you fighting over this time? Oh. Just complimenting the boys on the fine work. Uh. I didn't hear you come back. Why? Were you gonna roll out the red carpet? You know my carpet's not red. You can drag your dirty boots all over it. Cleaning up another of your messes is the last thing I need. <sighs> now, is someone please gonna tell me what this is about? Jay? I'm gonna tell the truth because I'm the baby. Pa said the roof's taken too long. And then it got ugly. Yeah. When are you all gonna learn to grow up? <sighs> I ain't cooked enough for five, so if you want lunch, you're making it yourself. No thanks. I lost my appetite. Jay, you better take those rabbits inside. I'll skin them later. We'll be right along. I'll fix us some cold drinks. some business acquaintances of your father's. Who the fuck is this, Lucifer? <laughs> ah, that is good. I can see this is a well-run home. Anything I can help you with, sir? Don't say sir, I say sir. Now that's what I like to hear. Help me, you most surely can. Hmm, now let me guess. You're too young to be Dale, and Tyler is much taller, or... So I understand. 
Which means you must be Che. That's my name. Don't wear I'm it out. Sent with the requisition. A what? Is your father home? I'm going to say I just missed him. I don't care what business this guy has with my dad. He was here, but you're too late. Ah, shoot. Now that's a shame, because my employers are most insistent. Is your employer Bruce? Because he's also most insistent. Need to collect a down payment. You'd get that reference if you've been watching all the episodes so mm. far, which you should be. May I? No. <laughs> Please, I think it's time you went. You know what? You're rude. And I'm out of matches. Okay. <laughs> Listen, son. I'm not a violent man. But the people I work for, if your pa doesn't pay his gambling debt, with interest, owing money will be the least of his troubles. Hmm. It's always gambling or alcohol. That's Pa's problem, man. Kill his ass for all I care. He's not a good dad. Ain't nothing to do with me. It's his problem. Yes, but sins of the fathers, I'm afraid. Interesting. Swiss? <laughs> The watch. A collector's piece, I think. Yours? No. It's... It ain't worth much. Maybe we can come to an arrangement. If you give me the watch, I'll talk to my employers and explain the circumstances. Consider it a gesture of goodwill. Do we have an agreement? You know what? I bet if I give you the watch, um, my dad will beat the shit out of me. So... I, I'm gonna keep the watch. Right? I don't care what happens to Pa. I ain't agreeing to nothing, so back off. Just like your father, always playing the wrong hand. Ow. Get off me! Keep still, you little runt. Oh, oh! One-handed, guys. Jay, forgot my damn watch. Huh? Hey! Uh, can you give me a QT for this dude so that I can let him die? your people to stop bothering me. Now get off my property and go back to whatever piss stinking hole you crawled out of. His face would be more than just red. Like, it'd be blistering at this point. That was boiling water. <laughs> You've dug your own grave, Holt. Your families do. You'll be hearing from us. Bring it on. I see you or any of your shit healed friends back here. I'll burn you alive. <laughs> ah, that car looked funny. He tried to take it. No. I asked you to take care of it. You did. It's yours. Mine? Oh. It took some guts standing up to that son of a bitch. Yeah. I'm proud of you, son. You should be proud of me. I'm the one who told him to do it. Thank you. Pretty sure he wouldn't have done it without me. Who was that? Jehovah's Witness. <sighs> More of your bear shit. Jay, what was that? This time, keep your goddamn mouth shut. Jehovah's about to witness me telling the truth. Pa's in trouble, Ma. He wanted money. Jay. For a gambling debt. Ugh. He said there'd be trouble if we didn't pay. Jesus Christ, bear. Mm. How much? I'll take care of it. How? By walking away? Bear, I'm talking to you. I said it's not your problem. I mean, it seems like it is because they came the here. Like always. If all you've got to offer us is trouble, why do you even bother coming home? <sighs> even when we've got nothing, he takes it away. It's all right, Ma. Sorry. Back at the Desert Dream Hotel, a little stuttery. Is it just me or do more cars keep arriving? Nah, he's just moving them around. Probably saw them do it on cops. Or he's three steps ahead of you. He played chess in high school, you know. You ready? Yeah. 
Oh, that's right. We're going out to look for the book. Oh, there's another sniper out there. Ooh, can I get another one of the Holt boys killed? I shouldn't be doing this. Actually, let me put my hands on the controller. Where did you park your truck? It's in a shed out back. You parked your truck in there? If I sound weird, it's because I'm leaning over now. No fear. Gonna be awesome. Mash! Why isn't he turning off the lights? Yo, 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 yo. Swipe! Mash. Yum, 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 yum. There. I'm pretty sure all of that was loud. Huh? Oh, that's where. Gee, thanks, Sheriff. You okay? Uh, couldn't be better. Hey, where were you sitting? Kind of all over. You check the cab. I'll check the bed. All right, let's look. First things first, under the seat. Always. Ugh, disgusting. Between the seats? There you are. Is that what the sheriff wanted? Huh. It's just numbers. Yeah, but what do those numbers correspond to? Department of Water and Power, twelve thousand dollars. East Side Land Holdings, eight thousand. There's hundreds of these. What are they? Bribes or something? Mayhap. Hey, you all right? It's nothing. Just that we're so caught up in all this shit. Yeah, we are. You, me. The sheriff, my family. No, it's almost like somebody wrote what it that I've way. In the last few weeks, it's all just so messed up. <sighs> Can't you just go? Can't you just buy a ticket on a Greyhound and get out of here? <sighs> I wish it was that easy. You ever have something you thought about doing, but you knew it was too dumb to actually go do? Sure. Yeah, I think about killing a billionaire and taking all their money mechanic. all the time. Fixed up 747s and little Cessnas and everything. But when I was a kid, I didn't want to fix planes. I wanted to fly them. In fact, what I really wanted to be was a flight instructor. So why didn't you? Well, fear has been a recurring theme, so let's go with that. I don't know. I guess I was scared of failing. But seeing how everything turned out, maybe I should have tried. I always wanted to be a forest ranger. Wanted to go to that one place with the geyser. Well, your dad's a bear. What's it called? Yellowstone. Yeah, that's the one. See that thing spout in the air? That'd be cool. Tell you what, let's get out of here alive tonight. Maybe we'll both get to rethink our lives a little. We should be getting back. So now that we found the black book, Sheriff, you can actually do your job. Try to get these folks out of here. You ever been married? Sure, to Vince's mother. I was too once. She left me. Said I drank too much. Mm -hmm. Wait, that's it. Sharon's bar. Didn't you come through here, what, 15, 20 years ago? Uh -oh. Said you were some traveling salesman or uh -oh, something. Uh oh, uh oh. I am telling you, drop it. So did he uh, bang Sharon and pop out one of them kids? What are you doing over there? <laughs> uh, Dude, what the fuck is your problem that you keep dropping shit on the floor? Like, what? <sighs> Ma, you better look at this. 
He's been talking to the sheriff. Vincent, give me the book. Look, if I don't give him what he wants... <laughs> Moses, what is all this? I'm not gonna say shit. Figure it out on your own, Sharon. Just can't believe you wrote it all down. Whenever people say that, it's like, of course they did. Just because you're doing shady business doesn't mean you don't want to keep track of it. Put me through to the sheriff again. I know. I'm inside it. Dante, it's Sharon. Your little whack-a-mole in here just got himself caught. I've got your little black book. And I'll gladly start faxing pages to Channel 10 unless you get me that bus in the next 30 minutes. How long till the FBI gets here? Under an hour. I like her upturned nose. All right, Sharon. You win. Boss, you sure? We could wait him out. Bring the goddamn bus. You shouldn't have come. It's not safe. Those cops, they shoot first, ask questions later. We all agree. I'm not gonna let you. I hope she keeps on sleeping. See, she's fine. I'm okay with the choice I made. Shouldn't be much longer now. In the uh, last episode. How you doing? About Michelle. Worried, I guess. She'll be all right. She's at a hospital now. They'll know what to do. You know, I kept blaming her for everything that happened to me. For things she said after the accident, for encouraging me to take that pet food job. Hmm. But she was just trying to help me move on. Mm -hmm. You had a rough year, Vance. I'm sure it was hard for her, too. I know what I want to do about those settlement papers she wanted me to sign. Once we get out of here. Oh? I feel like he should sue the airline, but because he's talking about wanting to just move on and do what she wants to do, I, I'm going to say take the money. I'm going to do it. He needs to move Send forward with his over. life. Take the money. All that matters now is I'm there for Zoe and Michelle. But I totally wouldn't do it personally, like for 10 grand especially. Having a nest egg, it's a smart move. $10,000 a nest egg in this economy? Wait, Vince. In case we don't make it. Hmm. Ah, uh, Jesus. Okay, look. My cancer. It's not as bad as I made it out. What you talk about, Jim? In fact, it... Uh, it doesn't exist. I made it up. Excuse me? What? A year or so ago, my closest friend Tony passed, and suddenly I was alone in the world. My brother was long gone. I had nobody left except you. But after everything I'd done, the way I left you, I, I knew you wouldn't let me back in your life unless... You gotta believe me, Vince. It came from a good place. You fucking lied. How about that, Dad? So the doctor visits the, the chemo options, that CAT scan you showed me? What can I say? If you're gonna lie, might as well go all in. Wow. <sighs> I can't believe I considered letting you move in with us. You I can't believe it either, considering that's not what I thought angry. that choice meant when I picked it. <laughs> Vince, I am still your father. And I want to be there for you, for Zoe. I, I walked out on my family, but I can be there for yours. You're all I have, Vince. So I'm coming clean. Can you give me another chance? Uh, you know what? Sure. We're already fractured enough as it is. Look, you're my dad. For better or for worse. And if you'd asked yesterday, I would have said no. But after tonight, I know I'm a lousy person. People can change, Dad. Just promise you'll never lie to me again. <sighs> you have my word. Really? So explain to me why you're hiding your face from Sharon. Hmm? Ah. Well. 
I really want some potatoes. Like, delicious homemade mashed potatoes. I think because I keep button mashing in this, and it just made me want mash. On your feet. Good thing I brought some potatoes. Listen, everyone. The only way any of us gets out of here tonight is on that bus. Hostages at the windows, us in the aisle. You sure this is gonna work? Won't pretend I'm sure of anything, but I know what this family's capable of. Why is the chassis so low? Huh? Get out of the way! Oh, shit! Oh, swipe! Ah, my god, you are so lucky I'm fast, dude. Because my hands were nowhere near the controller. One week earlier, Two Rock County. That was very abrupt. Okay. Don't worry, Pa. I'll get you there. Do I have to drive? Because if I do, I can't guarantee that I will. I had to turn my fan away from my face. But it's so hot. Like, I can't deal with this heat anymore, guys. I understand why you told your mom about the dead. But you got her all wound up and worried now. I just wanted to do the right thing. I know, son. But sometimes doing the right thing is doing the wrong thing. You'll understand that someday. <sighs> she used to think she could fix me, you know. Mm. All she wanted was a good man who'd love her back. Nobody wants to be alone. Not least your mom, anyway. So, when a woman like that says she wants you gone, well, you start thinking maybe she's right. Maybe the family don't need me no more. Ah, uh, sob, sob. It's the gambling, you ass. Actually, I should have said you're never here anyway, because it seems like he's just an absent father. You gotta stop. I've tried, son. But once you get a taste for winning... You just want it more. Turn off here. Hospital's the other way. We ain't going to the hospital. Huh? Make the turn. Here we go with more bullshit. How did you... How did you hurt your shoulder, Pa? You're a good kid. I know they say you're not supposed to have favorites, but Tyler's trouble is too like his ma. Dale's is that he's too much like me. Mm -hmm. Different. I can talk to you, son. Trust you. Right. So did you kill somebody and now you want me to help you bury the body? <sighs> Why if we stopped here? That looks like where we slept in uh, Life is Strange back. too. It's heavy. Pa, what's inside? What do you think is in there? Sausage? Come on. 
You know what? I should have let it fall so that he could see what was in there. Oh, never mind. It happened already. <laughs> Is he dead? Jay, you have to listen to me. He threatened us. You heard him. So I, I went to warn him off. That's all. Mm -hmm. He attacked me, and I hit him. Uh, too hard. He fell and hit his head. I, I didn't mean to kill him. I just panicked. Right. I don't believe anything you're saying. He's dead because you killed him. No. It was him or me. I was protecting all of you. I know you don't want to. But we can't go back now. Please, son. For me. <sighs> well, at least it confirms he's not Lucifer. These people are sharks. You let them smell blood, and they'll eat you whole. I wish I gave him the watch. Ain't just any old watch, son. Like I said, belong to my dear old pappy. So? And now, it's yours. So you keep it someplace safe. Okay. See if he's got any cash on him. What? Uh, no. Listen, this is already enough. I'm not gonna let you drag me into this shit. I don't know if I can do that, Pa. Ain't no use to him now. All the same, it still doesn't feel right. Pa, what are we gonna do? He's dead. Only one thing to do. <sighs> Dig. Please, don't ask me to do that. Jay, listen to me. No one can find him. If we don't do this, the people he works for... They're gonna do what? Kill please. you? I ain't asking for me. Think of your mom. Think of your brothers. I am thinking of them. They'd be You're better the off without you, I think. I can trust. Pick up the shovel. <sighs> I feel like he would really say this is fucked up. I... I can't. I'm sorry. <sighs> You want a job done properly, you gotta do it yourself. Now listen, when I was half your age, mm -hmm. we had this young horse. Beautiful colt. Rode him most days. Yeah, I'm sure he was fond of that. Then, one summer, he threw me. Started bucking and biting. I was lucky he didn't kill me. Right. Next day, Pappy hands me his rifle. Says, when an animal goes bad. Did it go bad or did it get tired bad. of you? I can still smell his whiskey breath as he holds that horse steady. Counts to three. I squeeze the trigger and all those years I hated him. Now I know he was right. It had to be done, son. You hear me? It had to be. Huh? Please. Help oh, me. shit. We gotta cover him up before he. Help me. Trust me, son. We'll be doing him a mercy. Help me. Please. Marry him. Do it, Jay. Do it, Jay. Oh, uh, no. No, 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 Come on. We can save him. I mean, because at least at this stage, you could say that you got into a fight, but if you kill him now, he will, like, it'll just be murder. Anything else will just be your word against his, what happened in the fight. We have to help him, Pa. Then I'll do it myself. Oh, my God. Oh, this is dumb. Oh, mash. This is stupid. Because what I mean is, like, he can't necessarily prove that he tried to kill him. Like, he could say that, but he should be able to say, like, no, we just got to a fight. And he's just saying that to try to make it seem like I tried to kill him, but in fact, he came and threatened my family.
Look like you need it. I don't want your beer, bear. Not for me. Too early. I wouldn't want it any time of day. It's late. Still, no thanks. Well, after tonight, I do. You take care of your grandpappy's watch, you hear? Been keeping time on a Holt's wrist since the Great Depression. You mean since the start of this conversation? Because, boy, this is some great fucking depression. Look, what happened tonight? It wasn't easy for me, neither. But I did it for all of us. And I don't blame you for thinking bad of me. I know I'm hard on you sometimes. And maybe I'm just no good. Mm, maybe? But I've made a lot of sacrifices, Jay. Going off to war. Taking care of that stranger tonight. Family means sacrifice. Even for a fucked up old drunk like me. Hey, so why don't you sacrifice gambling? Why don't you do that? Hmm? You get help. They got places you can go, you know? Meetings? You can't get help. Oh, they don't help old dogs like me. They just put them down. Really? Is that what you they do? You saved a man's life tonight. You go somewhere and say, and I have a gambling problem, and they're like, but you're old. <laughs> Let's take him out you. back and shoot him. It's my blood they'll want. It doesn't have to be like this. We can go to the cops. And tell them what? I tried to kill a man and bury him alive? These people, they ain't afraid of the law. <sighs> I brought this on us. So, it's on me to fix it. Now, get some sleep. I'm gonna go fix that roof you boys messed up. Are you gonna fall off the roof and die? I mean, it's been a long night, your shoulders messed up, you're drinking, you're exhausted. But whatever, it's fine. What's this? Sharon, you're not right about much, but you were right about me. Claim the insurance. It'll clear the debt. Sorry for everything. Oh. That's right. It did say there was going to be an unaliving. Pa! Pa! But don't you not get insurance if it's obvious that you tried to kill yourself to get it? Oh, and I'm gonna cut him down. No, 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 don't die. Don't die. <laughs> like, I thought he was gonna fall off the roof on purpose to kill himself, but. Left me. You're still my pa. I don't wanna lose you. Life. What you want. Really? Because you wanted them to claim life insurance. Seems to me that life is exactly about what you want. Your boy's act of mercy towards me buys you two weeks. But the debt remains. And if we don't pay? The next time you see me and my friends outside, you'll be digging your own graves. Okay. If you'd only talk to me. Now he's got so many pipes and tubes sticking out of him. He ain't gonna be saying anything. For now. Should have let him swing. Two weeks? Even if we had two years, we couldn't raise that kind of cash. I mean, I doubt they would have said, well, never mind the debt since he killed himself. It's vintage. Valuable, I think. <laughs> that old thing? It's a fake. Trust me. Pa couldn't even give it away. Uh, you want to hear my pitch? I say we rob the bank. Could work. Done right. Now, hold on. 
Nobody is robbing a bank. It's too risky. Yeah. But maybe there's another way. We can start a show. That's right. Get everybody together. Find all the talent out there. It'll be just like Vaudeville. They're gonna get snapped. I'm coming. I mean, I know what happened the first time. Surely he'll have more luck than his wife. Look like Keegan. You okay? Keep going. Ah, we're not safe yet. Daddy, I, I can't breathe. Oh, that's not good. Uh oh, there's a window there. We need to get out now. Don't even. All right, don't even with this bullshit. Oh. Get out of there. The whole place is going up. We're going to have to jump. It's too high. I'll get hurt. Sweetie, you'll get more hurt if you burn no alive. Like, you just go. See you down there, squirt. <laughs> Grab my hands. Here we go. <laughs> That's not far at all. I'd be like, sweetie, see? Gramps did it. And he's old and decrepit. You'll be. Oh crap. Just grab her. Just grab her. Was there a button prompt that I somehow did not see? Also, you can still go around that. Wow, that could have been really bad opening the door that way. I'll be right behind you, I promise. Will you fit? No. Ready? Up you go. Get on my back. Now hold on tight. And down we go. Quick, away from the flames. Two zero eight four. We have multiple officers down. Abandon the hilltop. We need urgent backup. We're headed down now. Over. <laughs> that makes it look like the car is on top of the roof. Why are you standing there watching the building? Get the fuck away from there. Hmm. Maybe not. But mommy's gonna be fine. And grandpa's just outside. We'll all be together again. Really soon. You promise? I do. Come on, kiddo. Uh 
Uh oh. Zeus. Oh, I forgot there there was a dog. Have you seen Sharon Holt? Does she have the book? You you crashed a bus into us. Also, you could what? Get your journal back? No, Vince. What I did was change the conversation. How could I know the Holtz would turn the whole place into a barbecue? Uh, I know he's corrupt, but I don't want him to know that I'm thinking about that. Just know that I'm mad. I took messages from you, snuck around behind their backs, and you ended like this? Did that say smuck? It's complicated. Sheriff, this is Coburn. Are you still in the back? You need support. Stand by for a minute, Colburn. Look, I appreciate you trying to help. This town doesn't run without me. Even my most loyal deputies know better than to ask how or why. That book could bring down a lot of people, myself included. I don't care, though. So, let's call it even, shall we? Like, yeah, I, I kind of really don't care. I just kind of want to go with my family, you know? Like, it's not my town. Uh-oh. Uh, is he fully dead? All we needed was a place to hide. And now my brother's dead! It wasn't my fault. Hmm. It's almost like we shouldn't have just been hanging out back there. Well, guess what? You're just an overweight, middle-aged nobody who should have shut up and stayed out of it. You know what? Attack him. I'm tired of being bullied. I'm an overweight, middle-aged man who's gonna sit on top of you. Crush you. Gouge out your eyes! You'll never see how cute you are again! Yep. Oh boy. Oh god. Oh, the knee. Oh, ouch. Ouchie. Fighting somebody in water would freak me out because I have a thing about drowning. Or rather, I have a thing about not being able to breathe. Wow. Oh, ouch, 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 ah, no. It's over, okay? It's done. No, it ain't. Shoot him, Jay. Do it. What are you waiting for? He would have killed me. I'm your family, your family. If you do this, you'll be a murderer. Is that really what you want? Ain't about what you want. Uh oh. But I talked to you about the things that you would do in the future. Don't kill me. Wait. Jay, give me the gun. Is she going to do it so that he's not in trouble? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's shoot open that gate and get the truck started. Please. You don't have to do this. You think I want to? Clearly you want to because this has nothing to do with me and my family. With her in the car, the cops won't shoot. Please, please, I don't want to go. Wait, you need a hostage? Take me. Yeah, right. After what you just pulled. What did I just pull? Uh, like leaving? <laughs> Wait. Handcuff me. Blindfold me. Throw me in the trunk if you have to. I'll be the most obedient hostage ever. Just please. Please. Huh. Don't take my little girl. Damn it. Tyler, let's just take him instead. You try anything. Anything. 
I won't try anything at all. I'll be like a vegetable. I'll just sit in the drawer. Oh God, Zoe. Come on, you're with us. I have to leave, Pumpkin. Oh boy. Please don't go. Please. Just look after mommy for me, okay? Okay. And hey, if I don't make it back, you always stand up for the people you love. Okay? Let's go. Here. In case we need to see you in the dark. I love you, Zoe. Thank you, sweetie. You know, I get that, like, people were really into the whole, like, I love you 3000. We don't need parents and kids to, like, always have a little thing that they say between each other. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it feels kind of forced. Like, I love you, sweetie. Like, the twinkling of the stars. It's like, we, it's fine to just say I love you, too. <laughs> It's the fab Please say you're the reinforcements. Lawrence Bradley, FBI. Jesus. This was a massacre. The sheriff was found unconscious. Everyone else was caught in the blast. We've got four deputies dead. Maybe more after the burns they took. And no sign of the perps. Hmm. Let's get a helicopter in the air. Weird. Weird that they weren't just surrounding the whole place. That's it. Nice and quiet till we're past the tracks. I tell you, if Bear could see us now. <sighs> Don't talk about him. This is all his dumb fault anyway. Hmm. I'm staying quiet because I didn't see who they were referring to. I looked away for a second. It wasn't always like that, you know? It's strange where life can take you. <sighs> Boy, Vince has given him the evil eye. She's gonna be alright. I know. Jay? Eyes on the road. <sighs> and there she is again. The place I want is the edge of darkness. Where thoughts stop and memories die. Do you hear that? <sighs> Step on it! What do we do? We'll make it. Just keep driving. Run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Sooner or later, God will cut you down. Later, God will cut you down. Huh. Didn't see that coming. isn't working it never does I get a few seconds of peace then instinct takes over That train would have already passed them, considering like where it was when he turned the car around. The truth is, there's still too much to forget. Not just the motel, but what happened afterward. Hmm. I won't sleep much tonight. I never do. 
I'll try again tomorrow. Go tell that long tongue liar. Guess we'll find out what happened afterward in the next chapter. As does falls. So that was the end of chapter three. Oh, and the end of book one. The description did say that it's going to be in two books. So if book one was three chapters, maybe book two will also be three chapters, which means this will be a very short game. And you know what? Um, I'm not complaining. By the way, I didn't mention that I'm playing this on Game Pass, so it was included with my membership, but it is available on Steam. But that's interesting because now that we've had book one, I'm wondering if book two is actually now all going to take place in the future. Love seeing credits, but I'm going to skip over that. All right, so value, honor. I value integrity and doing what's right. That's very true about me. Again, I'm cautious, and again, fast reflexes. Okay, I'm fine. So let's look at the uh, tree. Um, what choice am I curious about? Forgave him for lying. Most people didn't. Most people didn't take the settlement money. I mean, again, like in real life, I definitely wouldn't have for the sake of the character and what he said that his focus was, which was just moving on. That's why I said I would do it. Yeah, I mean, if this game is short enough, I might just come back and do like a mega episode trying to get like all of the different choices. But for now, the choice is going to be ending this episode. <laughs> Yeah, the pacing of this is interesting. And if it is just a six chapter, very short experience, I'll be fine with it because they packed a lot into it. So far, the choices that I could make have been pretty dynamic, pretty interesting. There are lots of branching paths. And even the quick time events, I feel, have been a little more interesting than they usually are. Like the fight sequences are pretty lengthy. You know, it's not just you have the one button prompt and then everything plays out for the next five minutes. So that's been pretty cool. So overall, I'm liking this. I'm enjoying this. I'm curious to know what you think about the story. But I definitely say that everything has just gotten increasingly better. Like I said, I feel like maybe everybody just had to hit their stride. And so they did. And if you hit your stride, then you know what I'm going to say. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Support me on Patreon at the $1 tier or higher. And I'll be back very soon with another episode of As Dusk Falls.